is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. How much longer should I expect this type of queen treatment? If you tell someone that she's your queen, you have to be prepared to treat her like the queen. Uh, if you are using the tactic of advertising that the pregnant woman that you know is your wife because you know people want to kill you in your real life, you're a fucking pussy. Yeah, I'm trying to tell people that I'm his queen and all this stuff because he thinks that them, the people who are mad at him. Oh my gosh. Stop. Who is she talking to? Oh, Lord. Is she faking this or is she, like, talking to someone? Them are going to come try to attack me. Um, anyways, what's going on, guys? I am sitting here with Xavier in the water. Um, we've so been up confused. since approximately 4.30 this morning, uh, dealing with rain. Uh, our belongings, our, all of the poles in our tent have been intentionally collapsed inward. I just bought this tent out of the money that I was supposed to be saving for my children for Christmas. Um, and they've already bent and inverted all of the poles on it. Um, just to be clear, I don't fuck with these people. I don't have friends who involve themselves in, you know, fucked up things. I stay pretty isolated and always have. Uh, anyone who I've met as an associate or a friend, I've known for like literally under a month um, of actually like time that we've spent together in person. Otherwise, it's just the occasional text message, things of that nature. I don't know what goes on in these people's houses. I do know that I am very pregnant. I have filed numerous police reports and I don't exist in this fucked up ass world. So... The world I exist in, you don't file requests for shelter and get ignored seven times. You I have didn't. no criminal record. I have a bachelor's <laughs> degree. I've been being held in a tent or outside of my legal living residence for nearly four years now. Um, I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing. Like, this is insane. I've come up with numerous, like many, 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 many business ideas many, many, um, many, many, many. that would be profitable if I were not being oppressed. I've been legally hired at 21 jobs since 2021 uh all of them i've gotten excellent reviews and recommendations i worked at northwestern hospital as well as other prestigious healthcare systems for a long time um i don't know what to even say about this uh the united states government had deals with dylan smith inmate number y12173 um and i don't know what happened but he was released from the idoc yeah. in may of 2019 and yeah, okay. my life literally was destroyed upon his release. Within six months of his release, uh, they had stolen my apartment, my car, everything I owned, separated me from my children, isolated the majority of my family members from me. Uh, I still, to this day, have very limited communication. My children have lived with me full-time their entire life. This is Xavier. Um, I feel as though we are being unlawfully held against our will, almost in a kidnapped ca capacity. And um, I don't know what else I can do besides file petitions in court, which I've done, and file police reports, which I've done. Um, what's, what do people get out of life for kidnapping others? Because that's, that's what I feel is going on here. Um, charge them accordingly, please. I'm tired of being called in a tent. Uh, I'm tired of being robbed. I'm tired of all of these things, you know, so. We're in Lincoln Park awaiting any sort of, you know, directions or instruction or opportunity. What does that mean? It means I'm in my third trimester of pregnancy. I've been prevented from seeing a regular doctor uh, regarding this pregnancy. I go once a month and walk all the way to the houses of my children to drop off a, a couple bags of groceries, which is all I've been able to afford because I'm being oppressed out of employment. I'm being physically oppressed and prevented from going to work and earning my own income. No, you're just not doing that. And you also get food stamps and cash assistance. And then having to use a very small allowance that I received from the state of Illinois to purchase food and a couple of items to let my children know 
that I love them and I care. I have sponsors uh, who know how unlawful this situation is and have done everything in their power to um, prevent it from continuing. I have told hundreds of thousands of people um, about what's going on with proof. I've posted it here on Instagram. I've posted it on TikTok. I've posted it on YouTube. I've posted it literally everywhere. So as I said numerous times, please arrest these people. I'm tired of fucking saying the same thing. Go back to my post from 2019. There's not a reason in hell that law enforcement can possibly be ignoring this still. Not a reason. Not a reason in hell, not a reason in heaven, not a reason anywhere in between. All the proof is there. I have a huge heat rash on my pregnant tummy from sleeping with a blow dryer to keep us warm. It's so itchy and it's too cold for me to keep it out all to keep it out all closed or bothersome. Send silk garments and a hotel room, please. Oh, now you want a hotel room. 28 weeks, 4 days, 3rd trimester pregnant. So this idea is so... A scumbag and a criminal are not the same. Someone who does wrong for right can and is usually a stronger and better person than the lamb following the herd. It's not a lamb, dumbass. It's a fucking sheep. <laughs> Think of a wolf who only eats bad lambs, sort of murder Dexter style. What the fuck? Realistic. Accessible. Um... Practical. We can fix the world. What do I mean by zero explo exploitation of children? Children are not running drugs for you people. Children are not being human sex trafficked for you people. I don't know what the fuck you think this is. You're sick as fuck. All, a anyone who carries the gene that they think it's okay to do some shit like this to a child or a woman or a man. You better have a fucking good ass reason. You better choose carefully. There's not a there's not a good reason. And there's not a reason at all. What the hell? Why would you even like what? <laughs> what the fuck? Hell no. Oh my gosh, do I need to read this? The evolution of digital currency. Why do I feel like I read this before? Yeah. The End of Poverty as It Looks in My Head by Heather Gillespie. No One Pays for Housing. Yeah, we've, we've, we've read this. Fucking ridiculous. Everything's free. Everyone, every, no one has to pay for anything. Okay. 28 weeks, 5 days pregnant, 3rd trimester, baby number 4. 7 closed requests for shelter and or housing assistance since September. One shelter request remains open. Five domestic abuse and prevention resources supposedly looking into assistance since 2020. Zero have called back to date. 1,465 days since being unlawfully thrown out of my own home and separated from my big kids. Hundreds of police reports filed, 21 jobs chased, stalked, or harassed out of shortly after getting them, and since 2020 with check stubs, a new hire paper, along with video to prove. One incredibly exhausted and frustrated mama. Goodness gracious almighty. I, I just, I'm not very happy with <laughs> why... <laughs> there is a flash sale going on via TikTok shop, and I'm short $20 to buy two Christmas gifts for my babies. If anyone, wow, that's so crazy. Oh my gosh. Pay ASAP. I would be so grateful. Yeah, I'm sure you would be grateful. That's why you're like, thank you. Thanks in advance because you're just, you expect it. That's so crazy to be, I can't even say to have the balls because, like, 
to have the audacity to be like, oh, there's a flash sale going on TikTok, and I know I'm in my, like, tent, homeless, but can you, like, send me 20 bucks so I could buy this for my kids, supposedly? Okay. Like, that's crazy that she could do that. You cannot fully grasp or understand all the ways I have been affected during these four years. From the small things like this, for example, to the big things like being raped or stabbed, legend, I have learned nothing from this experience other than the world is effed up and needs to be fixed. That's crazy. You should have learned something. Like, that's not good. If you went through all that and you didn't learn nothing from that, that's, that's bad. So what, what's up? Women's lightweight zip up vest, six dollars and sixteen cents. I don't understand. There's one small and one medium. What I don't am I an idiot? Oh, is it because the total's thirty four? I don't know, bro. Like, why does she think that's other people? Like, it's obviously the fucking website. <laughs> There's Thank you. Oh my gosh. I was about to say, I don't know how I'm going to be able to be doing these videos. <laughs> like, I try so hard, but dang, I know it would be hurting everybody's ears. It's so irritating. Nobody wants to hear that. So, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for listening to our voices, Heather. Sale for this puffer vest I've been trying to get for the girls. <laughs> and it's 34 something. And in my account, I only have 19 plus 3 in my other account. So I thought it would be enough because they're on sale for $6 with 30% off any purchase over 10 bucks. Oh, shit. That's what it is. It's the shipping. The economy shipping is $21.98. Hell no. <laughs> And it's not. It's $30 with with tax. So I'm literally $10 short, locked in the fucking tent, because Xavier went to go get food, and he doesn't leave the door unlocked so that no one attacks me again or does anything to me or the baby. And I'm just fucking frustrated at living my life this way. I don't have any more patience left to give. Oh, then if that was true, then stop. <laughs> guys look at the blanket i've made for the baby so far this is one 12 dollar um roll of yarn it's not a ball it's a roll it's like that soft it's like a sage green it looks so pretty i'm probably gonna need three or four more to finish it will you literally this is has, has what this is like i feel like the deja vu i mean you've already did like made a blanket and then said it took up this much and you need you know two or three more and it cost this much and it was a different color I'm pretty sure it was like purple or something I don't know it was it was I don't know what color it was it definitely wasn't this color so now you're making a different blanket and now again you're asking for what would you say they were 12 bucks but you need like three or four like and what amazes me is, is like she really thinks people sit like stupid because, yeah, usually that would be nice and cute and sweet that you would make a baby, your baby, a blanket handmade. But you have not done anything. You haven't even bought anything. You don't talk about them. You know you're not going to keep them. So why are people going? I'm, I'm sure there's going to be some people who sadly donate and I just hope God blesses them because it opens up their eyes because I don't want them to be conned especially at a time like this people are stressed enough people need to be worried about you know their own family as well I'm not saying turn your head and neglect everyone else but make sure you're good at home you know what I'm saying you don't ever know who you who who you're actually helping Look at the blanket I'm crocheting for my baby. I made one for each of my children while I was pregnant. Yep, said the same shit. Sorry. Um, so I'm not going to make him a bunch of blankets like this. Um, especially not when you could buy the blanket for like 5 to 10 bucks at Ross or TJ Maxx or Target or whatever. Um, but to have like one... What was that? <laughs> nice keepsake blanket. I crocheted one for all three of my children. But I ran out of yarn, so... I'm a fourth of the way done on that project.